tell me out loud. Work out your own salvation of fear and trembling. Don't become careless. Don't become negligent. Remember why you came into the ministry? Remember how you came to the church? Remember why you are attending this retreat? Remember why you have denied yourself? All these years is for salvation. And for you to be able to get to heaven, don't forget in the middle of the journey, work out your own salvation of fear and trembling. Those who are still keeping their salvation, they sin not. Those who are still looking up to the Lord, oh Lord, keep me, oh Lord, hold my hand, they sin not. Those who have the priority of their lives, they want to get out of the burning bush and get to the land of promise. They sin not. Those who are still abiding in the calling of the Lord, in the work of grace, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous. Even as he is righteous, he that committeth sin is of the devil, is a property of the devil, is a servant of the devil, is a child of the devil. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, does not commit a deliberate sin. Anybody that wants to live will not deliberately take poison. Anyone that wants to be active, active and powerful and mighty and happy and joyful and productive will not deliberately take poison. If you find anybody that is playing with poison, deliberately taking poison, playing with sin, joking with sin, Committing sin. Uh, they said the Bible says it should not be done. I'm going to do it. You know, somebody taking poison to just, you know, I'm going to make daddy unhappy by taking poison. I'm going to make mommy unhappy by taking poison. He wants to die. He wants to go to hell. Anybody that wants to live and wants to have his name in the book of life and remain there will not take poison just because of daddy, because of mommy, or because of anybody.